Hello, my name is Josh Dye and I'm the Marketing and Outreach Coordinator for HousingLink. HousingLink is a nonprofit organization and our service is our website, www.housinglink.org. On our website, you can search for affordable rental housing in Minnesota. And on that site, we also have a variety of resources for renters and landlords, social service agencies and government agencies where they can access the information that they need about rental housing in Minnesota. What I'm going to talk about today is how to best use the Housing Link website to search for housing that fits your budget. Now, in the housing search process, people have become accustomed to selecting the number of bedrooms that they need, the rent amount they can afford, and then the city that they want to live in. And then when they pull up those search results, they'll see everything that matches their criteria in that particular city. But what we learned at Housing Link is that oftentimes people aren't just interested in living in a city, they want to live in a specific neighborhood. Or they want to live near places of importance like their employment, or live near family, or places of entertainment that they enjoy. And so we developed a, a new capability which is called Map Search, where you can search more easily to find housing that meets your needs in those places of importance. And with the map you can see on the left hand side you have the number of bedrooms, and then below the bedrooms you have the rent, and then you can even filter by building type. So if you only want to see results that are apartments or duplexes or single family homes, you can select the, each individual box of the type of housing you want and it'll show you results that match. Then there are other filters as well. So you can select uh, if you're looking for places that accept a Section 8 voucher, if you want a property that's identified as smoke free or even has uh, features that are accessible. And the map itself is interactive, so you can zoom in and zoom out. You can zoom in by uh, left-clicking on your mouse. Or on the, in the top left-hand corner of the map, you can see a plus sign. You can click on that plus sign, and it'll zoom in. Or click on the minus sign, and it will zoom out. Now, any of the criteria that you select on the left-hand side, the map is going to respond to on the right. So in this case, I selected one bedrooms between six and $700. And I wanted to see ones that were only apartments that will accept a Section 8 voucher. So anything that you select on the left, the map responds to on the right by showing these little red dots that pop up. And each of these red dots are also something that you can click on, and it'll show you more information about, about that particular opening. It'll show you the address, the number of bedrooms, the rent amount, and the type of housing that it is. And then that address in that box is a hyperlink, so you can click on the address, and it'll take you to a page with more information about that particular opening. You can see a couple of photos and on here it'll also show you how much is the application fee, what is the security deposit, what is the pet policy, what utilities does the resident have to pay, as well as amenities that are on the property or nearby in the neighborhood like whether or not it has air conditioning, if there's a playground on the site, or if it's on or near a bus line as a couple of examples. Now for those who don't want to have to click on each of the red dots individually to get information, more information about each of those openings, you can click the big orange show listings button which is at the bottom of the map. And when you click on that, you'll have an opportunity to see all of the listings in a, a list form. It gives you the basic information and then each of those gray bars that you see is a hyperlink. So if you double click on the gray bar, it's going to take you back to that page with uh, photos of the property as well as amenities and other information. Now where map search becomes really powerful is with the Google search bar at the bottom of it. I've identified it with a purple arrow. And again, you select the criteria you're looking for on the left hand side and the map will respond to it on the right. But the way you're going to be able to find housing near those places of important, importance like employment, for example, is by using that Google search bar at the bottom. Now the example that I've used here is a random Devani's restaurant in Minneapolis and decided to use it as if I was employed at that Devani's. So I put in the address 2500 Riverside Avenue in Minneapolis and then you click the blue search button right next to the Google search bar there and the map's going to readjust and zoom into that address, which is at 25th and Riverside. 
And you can see there's a couple of red dots right around there that meet my criteria right by my place of employment. The reason that's so powerful is because before you're only able to search by Minneapolis and it would be difficult to find specific openings right near that address. So with that Google search bar, you can type in the address of whatever you want to live near and it'll show you open housing listings that meet your criteria. You can also do this to find a neighborhood. So let's say you want to live in the Seward neighborhood of Minneapolis, just as an example. Type in as much detail as you can in that bar. So Seward neighborhood Minneapolis, the map will readjust and zoom in and show you housing openings that meet the criteria you selected in that specific neighborhood. So use that Google search bar to find housing near those places of employment. Now for those who still want to be able to search by city, we do have that option available for you. You just click on the search by city tab at the top of the map and you'll see there that there is a list of cities. You just click the box next to the city you want to live in. Now you also see on the left there some boxes that say county. Now if you only want to live in a specific city, only click the city box, do not click county. If you click say Hennepin County and St. Paul, you'll get all of the openings in all of Hennepin County that meet your needs and the criteria selected as well as all the listings in St. Paul. So choose wisely in terms of those boxes and just understand that if you choose a county box you're going to get all of the listings in that county. So that's how you use the map as well as the the search by city function to find housing that meets your needs. Now the next service that I want to talk about is a service called HAlert. Uh, HAlert is a service where you can receive housing listings by email or text message. So as a lot of people are familiar, sometimes housing searching takes a lot of time. You have to come in day after day to see if there's a listing that meets your needs. With HAlert, it does the searching for you. You don't have to search day by day. You can just tell the system what you're looking for and it'll send you an email or text message. Now the way that you access HAlert is you go to the homepage of our website, www.housinglink.org. And then up to the right of the map, you see that image that looks like a cell phone and it says HAlert on it. Once you click on that cell phone image, it takes you to this page. And this page looks similar to our home page. You see the map there. If this is your first time using HAlert, you'll enter in your criteria of what you're looking for on the left. Then you can use the map to zoom in or use that Google search bar to select the area where you want to be notified if anything comes available. And then on the right hand side, you have your alert options. You see that the option is to get an email and it's for an email for each listing or a daily email with multiple listings and then the other option is text message. My personal recommendation is to do one daily email with multiple listings uh, and that'll provide a summary of everything that you're looking for. You'll give your alert a name and click save. A screen will pop up and tell you how many listings per day you can expect to receive. If you are a new user, once you've gone through and you click save, it'll also bring you to this screen and then you just fill out this form and that will complete the setup process. Now if you have already set up your account and you want to log in and change your criteria, you can do that just by logging in at the top of the screen. And then this here also, if you want to stop receiving alerts, you can come in and you can delete your account. And another important thing to note is that you can manage multiple profiles within HAlert. So let's say you want to get notified of just one bedrooms and then you also want to get notified of three bedrooms. You can set up two separate profiles within the system here in HAlert. So that's how HAlert works. And then finally, this screen here is a view of what it looks like when you get that daily digest email. So the subject will say HAlert Listing Digest and the email will say New Housing Link Rental Listings Meet Your Criteria and it'll provide a summary of everything that was posted that day that met your criteria. Now it's important to note that HAlert will not send you any listings of something that is already in the system. Once you set up your account it's going to send you alerts of all new listings that meet your criteria. And when you get this daily digest email, you can click on that hyperlink you see there and that'll take you to that page with more photos and information about the property. So between map search and HAlert, 
That is how you best use the Housing Link website to search for affordable rental housing in Minnesota. Thank you.